welcome back to microbial concepts so on one of my post i got a comment saying start with the mode of action of antibiotics okay so you have this in your third year and uh, this is the first video where i am starting with antifungals so mostly nystatin and griseofulbin are included in your syllabus and in some syllabus i found voriconazole okay so these are the three antifungals which we are going to study in this week so what are antifungals so antifungals are medicines that kill or stop the growth of fungi that causes infection okay so they are also termed as antimycotic agents so one which works against the fungal growth okay so the three antifungals we are going to study are nystatin griseofulbin and voriconazole so the antifungals they come in different formulations so you can see here uh, voriconazole is in case of tablets it is uh, it comes in formulations like tablets and injections nystatin is as topical powder and a cream ointment then griseofulbin is as oral syrup and in tablets it is available and uh, in tablets as well okay so it, it depends on the formulation now antifungals that we are uh, studying today they fall in this classification so nystatin is an example of polyenes voriconazole is an example of triazole and griseofulbin is categorized as others now first that is nystatin so it is available as topical and oral antifungal agent it is obtained from a streptomyces species that is streptomyces norisi then the mainly it is active against candida and other yeast infections which is used largely to treat skin and oropharyngeal candidiasis okay so nystatin is obtained from a streptomyces species it is active against candida and other yeast infections so that is the main point that you should write when you get a question on write a short note on antifungals like nystatin okay start with these points then it is characterized by having a large ring containing a lactone group okay it contains a lactone group and a hydrophobic region comprising a sequence of conjugate double bonds so this is the hydrophobic region this is the hydrophilic region the other part of ring carrying oh group at c gives a very hydrophilic area giving a very hydrophilic area yeah then the pollens okay this statin comes under pollens so pollens are effective on fungi because they possess affinity towards the sterol in the fungal cell wall so the fungal cell wall contains a sterol that is termed as or named as ergosterol so nystatin is effective against that the binding is proportional to the sterol that is present in the fungal cell wall now the mycoplasms they lack cell wall but contains sterol in their cell membrane so they are also sensitive towards okay so this is the fungal cell wall so you can see in the phospholipid bilayer of the cell membrane the ergosterol is present okay so nystatin has the affinity towards this ergosterol and it acts here so then there is a chitin uh, layer then cross linking of beta 16 glucan and beta 13 glucan and mannan proteins okay so nystatin is a polyen antifungal drug that has broad spectrum fungicidal and fungistatic activity so fungicidal fungicidal is killing and fungistatic is stopping the growth okay so it exerts its antifungal effect via disturbed uh, disruption of the fungal cell membrane okay so the cell membrane is disrupted nystatin is actually a channel forming ionophore meaning it exerts it its therapeutic effect via formation of membrane spanning pores in the fungal plasma membrane okay it means that it will form pores in the fungal cell membrane 
and formation of these pores will result in changing the permeability of the membrane and thus it allows the leakage of intracellular contents and subsequently disruption of the electrochemical gradient which is necessary for proper cell functioning okay so that is the main mechanism of nystatin now about griseofulvin so mainly it is available or widely used in oral suspension and also as in tablets so griseofulvin is a fungistatic agent which means it stops the growth of fungi and it is used to treat skin infections caused by tinea uh, capitis and tinea pedis it is derived from the mold penicillium griseofulvum and that is used to treat skin and nail infection okay so again these are your introductory points when you start writing answer on griseofulvin for the treatment of ringworm infections of the skin hair and nails namely tinea corporis tinea pedis tinea cruris tinea barbari then cradle cap or other conditions caused by trichophyton or microsporum microsporum fungi so it is thought that griseofulvin it binds to the tubulin and disrupting the microtubule function and inhibiting the mitosis and even inhibiting the nucleic acid synthesis so these are the mechanism or mode of the action of griseofulvin so it also binds to and interferes with the function of spindles and cytoplasmic microtubules by binding to the alpha and beta tubulin okay so you must have learned about uh, spindle fibers tubulins and cytoplasmic microtubules in biochemistry right so or uh, cell biology okay so the griseofulvin acts or it interferes with the structures of the cell and it binds to the keratin in human cells and then once it reaches the fungal site of the action it binds to the fungal microtubule microtubes and thus alters the fungal process of mitosis okay so this is the mechanism of griseofulvin now once it uh, alters the fungal process of mitosis what happens it causes growth of hyphae to curl and become waved or waved and it stops or the growth ceases okay so that is about griseofulvin now about voriconazole so it is available in oral formulation and in iv okay intravenous now voricon voriconazole is a triazole compound used to treat fungal infections it is a second generation triazole that is derived from fuconazole okay so it is a derivative of another antifungal that is fuconazole or fluconazole it is used to treat various infections including aspergillosis candidiasis then uh, cochideoidiomycosis histoplasmosis penicilli penicilliosis and infections by fusarium so like other triazoles uh, voriconazole it binds to the alpha 14 alpha sterol dimethylase also known as cyp51 and it inhibits the demethylation of lanosterol as a part of ergosterol uh, synthesis pathway in the yeast and other fungi so again the ergosterol that is the component which is present in cell membrane so uh, voriconazole it interferes with the synthesis pathway of the ergosterol okay the lack of sufficient ergosterol disrupts the fungal cell membrane function and limits the cell growth okay and with the fungal growth limited the host immune system is able to clear the invading organism okay so this is about the uh, voriconazole and we have covered three important antifungals in this video so i hope uh, you understood the mechanism of all these three antifungals and do like my videos do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel okay and watch other videos from antibiotic mode of action series which i will be uploading in coming upcoming days okay 
थैंक यू